Well, here's something a little different, guys. It's my first mailbag. I got these four things that came in today. Uh, Jamaica, China, um, Colorado, and the China. Each one of these things represents a different project I'm working on. And for those of you that know me, that truly know me, you know I never work on a single project at a time. I've usually got four or five in the works. Mostly because I uh, get stumped with a problem and I'll back away from it and go work on something else. Other times it's because I'm waiting for parts. What we have here is a little tiny camera. Now look at that little guy. Yeah, it's tiny. It's uh, must be a half an inch high. Can't wait to get that hooked up and test it out. It's even got a microphone on it. Um, being the skeptic that I am and the cautious fellow, when I buy a part that's really inexpensive, I think I paid five dollars for these things, um, and they're unique enough that. Uh, if one fails, it's going to cause me a problem. So I hope you can see that okay. It's a little tiny CVT camera. These are designed for, uh, I guess, drones and stuff like that. Small, lightweight, but I have another use for them. That's a project I've got, currently got in the works, and uh, you'll see that coming up fairly soon. I've been waiting for this so I can move forward with that. Anyway, I have two of them. Five bucks each. And free shipping from uh, China. I don't buy a lot of stuff from China, but when I do, I'm, I'm kind of selective. Uh, the next product is from SparkFun. You guys probably have recognized that name. And let's see what I got here. Oh, it's this, uh, it's the new Blackboard Arduino compatible board. This is uh, SparkFun's new blackboard. They call it Artemis. That little guy right there runs at 48 megahertz. Pretty impressive, don't you think? I can't wait to plug this into a project where I need some horsepower. It has all the uh, Arduino Uno flexibility and power in then some. Comes with one meg of flash and 384k of RAM in 48 megahertz. So, and it actually has a turbo mode which will go up to, I think, 96 megahertz. Um, but it's a 3.3, so I gotta be cautious of that. I'm used to most everything I've done is, is uh, 5 volts. But isn't that a pretty looking thing? I know it might not be too impressive, but wait till we hook it up and make it do something. So I do have a project in mind for this, and it's going to sit back and wait patiently for me. Okay, this other thing, this is uh, from Jamaica. I have no idea what I'm getting from Jamaica. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's my daughter's, uh, there you go, it's my daughter's uh, Korean pop band. I forget what, they, what she calls it. I don't know why I can't remember the name. Oh, BTS. It's her stickers. All right, we, we, that's not my project. That's my daughter's. <laughs> okay, here's the big one. Now, let me tell you a little story on this one before I open it. Um, I bought a Jeep for my wife back in 95, uh, Grand Cherokee, and we drove that thing. She drove it for 12 years, and then I think I drove it for about 10 um, I parked it about three years ago when I bought my new truck, and uh, I put it aside because I knew my daughter would be learning to drive in a few years. And the goal was, since since it's a, a fairly solid vehicle, the goal was to rebuild the suspension and go through it top to bottom and make it like new. And we're going to be starting that fairly soon. The other day I got a thing from uh, Banggood. 
And now I purchased this. Uh, they didn't offer it to me. They didn't send it to me for review. I purchased this. This is a head unit for the stereo system. And it was $37. Now I have no idea how well this thing is going to work or if it's even going to last. But for $37, I just had to buy it and try it. Now it doesn't have GPS built in, but it's a standard 2D or uh, doubled in type of housing. Comes with a remote. But this is the head unit. It's a 7 inch screen. Um, it's got uh, uh, micro SD card on there. It's got a USB in the front, auxiliary input. It also has. Uh, two or a video in, two cameras in I guess it is, and audio out. There's your antenna. You can put a GPS antenna in it, but I don't think this is actually set up for GPS. Um, and this of course, uh, I have no idea. It's just power and such. But for $37, I just had to buy it because, well, $37. And we'll see how that works out. Okay, here's the one connector. Um, since we have two, I see uh, B plus, ACC, auto antenna. We have um, back car. But I'm thinking that's just the uh, backup camera. Key 2, don't know what that is. Uh, maybe it's a power to control uh, key 1 to control uh, maybe external amplifier and ground. This other one has uh, no connectors. Don't know what that does. And of course it has a little tiny remote. So this is, uh, this is it. This is my project. Reversing to pink. Let's see reversing to pink does. Well, oh, this camera. Um, key 1, key 2. I don't even see that listed in here. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Now, what this thing does, it has uh, uh, FM radio, no AM. It has the ability to share your video. So, most everybody's got a smartphone. If you have one that can do a mirrorcast type function where it can send the, the video from your phone to a remote device, this has got the ability to receive that. Um, and it has Bluetooth in it for hands-free, which will be good for her driving so she can talk on the phone while she's driving once I permit that. Anyway, it's, it's uh, $37. It's all plastic. I thought that might have been aluminum, but that's not, well, yeah, that's not aluminum. So, that's my mailbag. This is going to be a fun project when her and I start on that Jeep. There's the power button. So, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, and it's, it's also a touch screen. So, nice. Anyway, this is my first mailbag. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know if I'll do more of these or not, but I just wanted to show you the uh, the different things I've got going on. I'm not telling you about all the projects I'm working on. I've got five different ones in the works here and at the lab. So uh, I'm busy everywhere. Not to mention the fact that I have clients <laughs> that demand my time from, from moment to moment. So uh, there we go. That's all I got to say for that. Let me know what you think. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to ring the bell. And uh, I'll be seeing in videos. I got one that's about to drop. Besides this one I'm going to put online. I got my chicken scholar almost perfected. I'm going to put a, uh, a couple of sample videos up of, of um, component pieces of the scholar that I needed to test. So, thanks guys. Good. No, don't put your fingers in front of the honey. All right, hit stop.
All right, hit stop.